Shamo and here we are with the Red Cat Racing's FA18C. Take the main wing, any piece first, doesn't matter. Apply the glue, connect the cable to the cable connectors here, making sure uh, the polarity is right. Spread the glue and make sure you're installing the right wing. Before putting the wing in, connect the servo connector, making sure the polarity is right. You can easily see white goes to white, red to red, black to black. And now hold it down here and install the wing in its position. And also make sure you do not have any gap here. Next we are going to install the elevators. Once again making sure the control horn is downwards. Put it in and make sure the surface doesn't bind with anything. Clean out the excess glue. Next, the vertical stabilizers. There's an 8 written here. It will point outwards. So go ahead, pick up your glue. It's an angled one, so it will angle out a little bit. Go ahead, clean out the excess glue. If you look at the picture of the user in the user manual from front, you can see they are a little bit inclined outwards, leaning outwards. So make sure you don't lean them inside. Put the nose cone on. Clean out the excess glue. Installation of landing gear is very easy. Just put it in, making sure this is facing backwards. To install the front landing gear, you will need a little hex wrench. Loosen this top screw, which is a grub screw given here. Put the wheel in, facing backwards. See? And make sure it's a straight for now. Tighten the grub screw. Later when we install the battery and turn everything on, we might need to set this up again because the servo will center and you will set the trim for the rudder or the steering wheel to the center and then reset the grub screw by loosening it and reset the uh, front steering wheel making sure it's completely straight. There you go, it is ready. Now, the most complicated part is here, which you need to actually pay attention to. Installing the elevator controls are the tricky part. You have been given two servo arms and two connecting rods, one of which is uh, this way bent in a different way. One is completely straight. So go ahead and put the... Uh, it doesn't matter which one is right and left, you can easily figure it out. So go ahead, put the servo horn on this connecting rod, okay? and install it. Make sure you have centered the servos by turning on the power. Install it and connect the clevis here. All right. The second one actually is a little bit tricky, which the tricky part is here. What you need to do is make sure this thing face downwards. This thing, when the plane is upside down, okay, make sure this thing face downwards and making sure, as you can see, this servo arm is facing up. When the plane is inverted, it's facing up. When the plane is inverted, this servo horn should face downwards. Okay? This means both of the servo horns are opposite direction. So now you can see this one is pointing downwards and this one is pointing upwards. Remember, the plane is upside down. From my orientation, I'm holding the plane nose my side inverted. The left from my orientation, from your orientation, the right one actually goes pointing upwards. Okay? While this one goes pointing downwards. So you can see the bent connecting rod will fix this way while the other connecting rod this way. Okay, go ahead and fix the clevis to the control arm or control horn. Uh, these sidewinders or sides of this plane, go ahead, just glue them up here. And your beautiful FA-18C from Red Cat Racing is ready to fly.